Get out of my car, you trucking idiot. Hey, Lizzie, give them all that money I keep beneath the mattress. Okay, so all of a sudden I have about a hundred different mini quests that I have to do. So let's just kind of knock this out. Old man needs to be taken out to do errands. I tried to save the Echo Net, but my Cyclone somehow dropped through the middle of a bridge, so that happened. Oh, hi, Vault Hunter. Met Tommy Wiseau. You are just the person I didn't know I wanted to see until I did see you there. Helped him with his new art house film. If I fall, will you catch me? And finally got some context for that birthday party. You remember that birthday party that I thought I found earlier? Well, now we actually have context for it. And it's kind of sad. The girl that Mordecai was training to be a sniper has died, and this was going to be her party. Uh-oh. Now I feel very awkward, but not nearly as awkward as I felt breaking a dead girl's records for eating cake. Well, you beat my Gracie's record. How about that? Too bad she'll never have the chance to give it another go. <sighs> and enter grenade throwing record. Wow, you got guts for days, Vault Hunter. Waltzing into a little dead girl's birthday party and going after a record? Well, they shouldn't have made them optional objectives, now should they? But I let Gracie's record stand on shooting racks. And by let, I mean failed to beat her record for shooting racks. Popped a pinata. Well, you got class, Vault Hunter. I appreciate you keeping Gracie's records alive like that. Yeah, that's totally what I did. I totally intended to do that. Freed Tina's pet Skag Enrique and killed her ex. Watched the happy and perfectly normal reunion. Where'd you get a face like that, huh? Did you cut it off a cuter Skag and steal the cute? Did you steal the cute out of his very soul, huh? Huh? Did you eat all the cutie pies until you turned into the cutiest of cutie pies? Oh, I bet you did. I bet you did, you Found Hot Carl, who is apparently pretty hot. Power slid to a sweet new vehicle part. Sat a while at the top of the world. Master of all I survey. And headed back to Roland's Rest, where I checked out some of the nice things that people wrote about him on the back of his statue. I got uncomfortably close to a talking head. I killed the phoenix. Twice. Nope, sorry, three times. And used a little of my R&R time to go through, a. Uh, Roller Coaster Shooting Gallery. Wee! And also, pew pew! After collecting spider ant eggs and a barrel of gunpowder to make a cake that someone could use to blow up a bandit hideout, I killed a very special rack that apparently held all the monies. Like, literally, all the monies. I drove another one of the special vehicles back to Ellie's garage, at which point the game froze. This is actually not the first time the game froze, but it seems to happen at exactly the same point where I get out of a vehicle that I've dropped off to get a new part. So, I don't know what that's about, but it did happen a few times so far. Popped another pinata, which gave me, like, nothing. $95, huh? Great. Stumbled across a target of opportunity challenge while I was doing the homestead missions. Only two targets left, huh? All right, getting there. Oh yeah, the homestead mission. So it comes in three parts. You have to help Ma and Pa out with some of their troubles, like blowing up a turd dam. Yeah, you heard me. Another day, another atomized cloud of crap. And now well into level 37, I could go back to the main quest. I tried sacrificing my vehicle to gain entrance into Carnivora, but that did not go well. At which point I was directed to go and find apparently a much cooler car. Said car was owned by Big Donny, who of course went by Big D to just be super annoying. And I rode off in his golden chariot, because of course he called it a golden chariot. I mean, he calls himself the Big D. What did you expect? The Disney princess you never hear about decided to give me a good what for when I drove off. But it's okay because she dropped a legendary, which is like nine levels under my current. So probably not using that. It was around this point I realized I desperately needed better equipment. And I was not going to find it on the main quest because everything was so far under my level. So, back to the cistern of slaughter I went. 
I hit level 38 while I was here, but oh, that was not the most exciting part. I had picked up a brand new butcher shotgun, and if you think I wasn't going to equip it before I moved on to the main quest again, you are mistaken. I participated, beyond all logic and reason, in the stupidest game show known to mankind. <laughs> I'm not a sure, but, uh, yeah, he, um, actually has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. Talked about yourself there, Vaughn? <laughs> Oh, uh, it's funny because it's kind of true. So, fun story, turns out that the carnivora is on wheels. Like it's just a giant mobile carnival of slaughter. Hopping back in the golden chariot, it was time to disable this thing so I could get inside. For some reason, the game all of a sudden decided that I was Mario and had to do this very elaborate platforming action so that I could get up to a red chest. And while some people may have just given up after the first few attempts, it's a red chest. I am not going to let this go. Okay, just, just, just on top, no, just get onto it. Okay, just try this again. Here we go. Okay, get, get, get on, get up, get, there we go. Okay, we fell off again. Okay, great. Why is this so hard? <laughs> Just let me get up there. I don't know why I have to do this so many times. Oh, hey, did that work? Oh, sweet. Never mind. After wading through hordes of enemies and maintaining the breath in my lungs, I died instantaneously when I apparently fell into a fan. Yes, the actual pitfalls in this game are far more deadly than any enemy they can throw at you. Pain and terror, that sounds familiar for some reason, I wonder if that's a thing I know. Anyway, offered me the ability to make a grand entrance into the main arena. I failed at that, and then confirmed that Tannis was indeed still alive, but in grave danger. Pain and terror, oh, Penn and Teller, right. Pitchford likes magic, that's right. Also had a giant robot that you might remember from the trailers. Yep, this is that giant boss battle, and it was suitably epic. There were fires, there were saw blades, there were giant knives, but with time, perseverance, a lot of moving to the side, and identifying critical hot spots, the giant metal man finally met his end. Tannis insisted that I shoot its iridium core real good, and I can do that real good, so I did. So, plot twist, turns out that Tannis is also a siren. Yeah, I think we're up to ten sirens. How many sirens are there now? There's a lot of sirens. I considered walking away from pain and terror, and just letting them lie there in their defeat. But it's kind of part of the mission, and you can't skip it, so... Bye, guys! Tannis explained exactly sure what the hell is going on. So, you're a super-secret siren? Yes! That is how I have been speaking in your head and charging the vault keys. And gifted me with the power of leveling. Lilith insisted that I go talk to Vaughn some more, so... Kill her head down to Roland's rest and tell Vaughn to rally the raiders. We're ending this. I decided to take the highest risk for the lowest reward as I did a Janelle Monet across this beam and sprung for a much better assault rifle over at Crazy Randy's. Or what the heck, I need a new pistol too. We tried and failed to assault the COV defenses. Talon is a mommy now. Good for you. Tina was equally concerned as I was with the utter surplus of sirens we're experiencing. Is every lady girl I know a fracking siren? Okay, I'm gonna need everyone to get buck naked right now, and I am checking for tats! And I made that jump. You know that jump that was in the trailer? Of the four characters go over that jump? Remember that? This is that part. Hidden off the beaten path, I found some Iridian ruins. And a side quest that of course meant that my backpack was already full. But it's cool, at least this robot seems happy. Sorrow, what sorrow? 
Okay, maybe happy isn't exactly the word I was looking for. Fighting off a virtual army of Varkids eventually led me to level 40. All of this ultimately led to Tannis' lab. But the really interesting part was a side mission called Childhood's End, which goes into more detail about Jack and Angel. And, uh, yeah, Angel's childhood was really bad. Hey, Angel. Who is this guy? Captain Bear. He eats crime. Well, we must be eating a lot with that big belly, huh? Hey, Angel, darling, what, what's that on your arm? Did you do that? Blue. I don't know where it came from. Do you think it's pretty? Yeah, sweetheart. It's, it's real pretty. Hey, honey, can you get in here for a minute? Shh, I know, darling. That's why you need to stay in that chair. But I got you something. That chair is connected to the entire Hyperion network. Now you can see through every satellite we own around every planet in the sky. You've got the best view in the whole universe from that chair. We're going to work together. You and me, kiddo. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that kid had no chance. Anyway, I got Tannis' reactor and we headed back to Vaughn. Vaughn broke out his coolest technical so we could recreate the final level of Halo. Bam ba ba bam bam ba ba 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 I, I can't sing the whole thing. But seriously, folks, the, the technical in Borderlands is kind of like the Warthog in Halo. And uh, yes, this section definitely feels like the very end of the first game. Go back and play it. I swear. I swear this is similar. Had an obligatory conversation with Vaughn, finished up that mission about Angel's tortured childhood, which blissfully cut Vaughn off. The Calypsos realized that they were falling behind on the algorithm and decided to put out another video this week. Troy phase-locked Elpis to show what he really thought of the pre-sequel, and then they asked me to go around the ship to say my tearful goodbyes to the entire crew, thus signaling that we must be in the end game. You never let anything stop you, Vault Hunter. So let's take them down together. What are you going to do? Roll your eyes harder? I... It's on. Time to ice those calypsos and save Pandora. Oh, I see what you did there. Back at the blockade, Tannis made some new turret friends. I've taken over all the turrets and promised them amnesty. Please welcome the newest members of the Crimson Raiders. And we just busted down the door to get to the Cathedral of the Twin Gods. It's around this point that literally everyone we met on our journey aided in our last assault on the cathedral. You know, the real journey is the friends that are willing to kill for you that you meet along the way. One pizza bomb later and it was time to clear out the Calypso's forces. However, I was significantly overleveled for this area as I had been for quite a while, so this was not too difficult. And after checking out this little hole in the wall room that had a red chest that of course had underleveled stuff because again, we were finally able to get to the Great Vault. However, shortly after I arrived at the Great Vault, I hit level 41. So, will we finally battle the Calypsos and save Pandora? We'll find out on the next episode. <laughs>